In this demo, we will see how the features of Aries Mechanical enable you to create new mechanical entities for your DWG drawings. To begin with, notice how Aries Mechanical offers a mechanical workspace. This ribbon includes some features specific to the mechanical workspace in the tabs named Home, Mechanical Content, and Mechanical Annotate. In our previous demo, we focused on the update of part refs and bombs created with AutoCAD Mechanical. This time, we will see how we can create new entities from the Ares Mechanical Library. The hardware library includes standard parts for bolts and screws, nuts, pins, and washers. After selecting a type of entity, you can choose the near view, the far view, a side view, or a hidden side view, according to your needs. The material thickness can be entered as a value or by selecting two points in the drawing. And on the right, I can add this part to my favorites if I use it frequently. After insertion, you can edit the standard part using the feature from the ribbon or simply by double-clicking on it. For instance, I can change the thread display here. Finally, in this dialog, I can see that I am working with the DIN standard. In the standards dialog, I can see Aries Mechanical also supports ANSI, BSI, ISO, and JIS. I can further customize the standard parts library by copying one of these standards. This enables customization of the names, descriptions, and values. Note that only custom standards can be edited. After modification, you can export your custom standard to share it with other users within your organization. Now, let's take a look at the Screw Connections toolbox. In this dialog, you can configure a screw or bolt together with its washers and nuts. Here again, we can indicate the thickness by entering a value or by selecting two points. Finally, I will mirror this standard part. To insert my screw connection, I've been using these construction lines. You will find this feature in the Home tab. Note, however, that in the Section view, the part is visible two times, but in the Top view, I can see it will be inserted eight times. So first, I will select the part references and increase their value to eight. We have four part references. We could edit them one by one, like this. But instead, I will select the four of them and use the Properties palette to change the value of all of them in one step. Next, we will insert the washer in the top view. To avoid counting the parts twice, we must remove the part references. Finally, we will use an array to replicate the entities eight times. Be sure to choose the option to create a non-associative array. As explained in our previous demo, we can also manually insert part references on any entity or block. In addition, we can add whole entities to show we will need to drill this plate. Holes can also be created in a top or side view. And after creating a hole, you can insert a standard part with the help of the assistant, which will recommend one that can fit in the hole you created. To continue, we will now insert balloons. Balloons can be inserted individually.
and after insertion, you can select the balloon and modify its style in the Properties palette. You can also save time by inserting multiple balloons that will be aligned horizontally or vertically as you wish. Similarly, I can insert hole callouts for the holes I created. Next, we will configure our bomb and insert a parts list. You can learn more about bomb and parts list features from our previous demo. We can also insert a hole table. And our last step will be to add some symbols for the surface finish and welding. To conclude, you will find in Aries Mechanical a full set of tools to create mechanical drawings directly in DWG format. These entities were created automatically on the corresponding layers, as required for mechanical drawings. In addition, the part references and part lists created will be recognized in AutoCAD Mechanical as mechanical entities. In the next demo, you will hear about frames and printing.